Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Today's game features two quarterbacks who always seem to find themselves in games that come down to the wire. It's Joe Flacco going up against Ben Roethlisberger. Now let's head down to Jim Nance and Phil Simms. It's Thursday night in the NFL, and we welcome you to tonight's matchup here on EA Sports. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Phil Sims. Just prior to kickoff for this primetime extravaganza, and this adds another whole layer of excitement when you have this game under the light. I think you said it right. Center stage, players love it. Anytime you turn on the lights, they know it's special, and it brings out the emotion out of these players. And also, though, let's don't forget, the fans, they've been here all afternoon getting ready, so we're going to have a loud crowd also. The Steelers are ready to run back this kick. Justin Tucker ready to kick it away to start today's game. Second down following the run. Tight ends in motion here. Blacko's got it in the gun. The defense gets the sack. Really good job by the defensive coordinator. Good time to call that blitz. Catches the offense by surprise, and they just outnumber them, and they get to the quarterback, and they take him down. Ben Roethlisberger and Joe Flacco, they meet a couple of times a year in the AFC North, and, man, they are pretty experienced about these games coming right down to the wire when it's the Steelers and the Ravens. Yeah, you, we, we, you and I have done so many of those games, and we've seen both of these quarterbacks win the game on the last drive. So, oh, come on. They're tremendous quarterbacks. Wow. They're the face of their franchises, and it's always fun when you get the Ravens and the Steelers in the game. What do you see when you look at these two quarterbacks, Roethlisberger and Flacco? Isn't it amazing what a Super Bowl victory does for you? Now look at Joe Flacco, and I see him going against Ben Roethlisberger, and I just say, Wow, Joe Flacco's the man right now. And uh, I think that's how he's going to be viewed. Uh, the public, what they thought about him before, it doesn't matter what they used to think. Now they look at him, and they know he's one of the best in the NFL, and he is one terrific quarterback. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. An extra tight end on the field for this one. Flacco's got it after the play fake. Secures it with two hands. He's brought down. Flacco is selling this play big time. The defense, they go for the run fake, and that's why he has time to throw the football and makes the completion. Good job. Flacco's got two tight ends on the field for this snap. No doubt about it. Touchdown. Good job that time by the offense. Throwing that touchdown and putting him ahead. And when you get ahead in the football game, the National Football... What the hell? Offense lines up here. First and goal to go from the two. He'll go ground. Good work by the defense. This will be a loss of three. Got to give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. The Ravens coaching staff probably wouldn't mind avoiding these close games every week, but right now they're winning another tightly contested game. Well, sure, I'm sure they wouldn't mind the blowout victories, but that's not going to happen. I think everybody in this league knows it's how you do in the close game that defines what you're going to be. Are you going to be a playoff team or a team that doesn't make the playoffs? 
the defense looking for one more stop here on third down after that run. will take it right from the center. Play action fake, looking to throw, and he's forced to the ground. Jim, you can't tell the difference between the quarterback and the center. They're both retreating about as fast as you can go. That time the center gets run over, and it leads to a sack of the QB. What do you see when you look at these two quarterbacks, Roethlisberger and Flacco? Isn't it amazing what a Super Bowl victory does for you? Now look at Joe Flacco, and I see him going against Ben Roethlisberger, and I just say, wow, Joe Flacco's the man right now. And uh, I think that's how he's going to be viewed. Uh, the public, what they thought about him before, it doesn't matter what they used to think. Now they look at him, and they know he's one of the best in the NFL, and he is one terrific quarterback. Flacco will have it in the pistol. The Ravens snap it at the 36. They bring him down. And the offense fails to pick up a first down on three plays. That time, that's just a bad decision by the running back. He makes the wrong. What's up, money? Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Go running. Fumble, touchdown. touchdown. Good shit, touchdown. Close the gap. touchdown. <laughs> he got blown the fuck up this in this. This defense it. has some mentality, don't Boom. they? Not only do they want turnovers, they want points to go with it. Nice job of taking it all the way back for the touchdown. Cool in it? Yeah, I'm just chilling, man. Trying to blow off some steam. How's the family doing, man? Hopefully everybody's good to go. Offense lines up here. Probably should have had that one, but it goes incomplete. It's really simple. Keep your eyes on the football. When you're not on it, that's when you drop it, and that's what happened that time. Second down after the incompletion. Jones is a receiver in the slot. Midway, second quarter. He'll throw it over the middle. And off the mark on that short throw. Lots of ways to attack cover two. There's no doubt about it. You can throw it underneath. You can pump fake the safeties, make one of them move, and still throw it deep down the field. The Ravens line up in the pistol offense. The Ravens take it from the 23. Come on, man. Get some pressure on him. And they sack him on third down. Go. And they force the quick three and out. Well, the defense has got to be excited. Anytime on third down, right. they make the play. Uh, they get pretty fired up. Can't but when complain. you sack a quarterback on third down, that is one happy. And Be happier if our freaking offense would do something in this game. Our offense ain't doing shit. Offense lines up here. First down at the 28. Flacco keeps it. The reception easy, wide open. Well, the way the rules are in the NFL now, you can't hit the receivers, you can't hit the quarterback. And if you give the quarterback this kind of time, he is always going to find an open receiver. 
you know, they both now have produced game-winning drives in the other team's building in huge cases. The Roethlisberger year at Baltimore where he found Santonio Holmes on the goal line and had to be reviewed. It was a touchdown that won the game for the Steelers. And then you had in 2011, it was Flacco leading, leading the Ravens back down the field, finding Torrey Smith with seconds to go for a win. So they both you have won Johnny, in uh, the others' Johnny arena football in today. very big spots. Well, I think Brown when you fans. talk about we want Johnny in there. Comes down to this. Sucks. They're relaxed yeah, in right. big situations. You know why put, that put is? The game is because they've done it so nothing. many times. And that just tells you, too, the fact that they've done it so many times, it says to me right away, they both have a lot of talent. And when you have a lot of talent, you can come through in the clutch. Pinnas marked down at the 27. The Ravens are leading in this one, and a lot of that goes back to the play of this quarterback. The Wide receivers stacked up on this play. Second down and 10. Just three yards short of the first. It'll be third down. Screen with two hands. He has it. Timmons, the one who made the big stop. Yeah, that was, that was just a dumb call. When you throw it behind the line of scrimmage Browns like that, you deserve to lose some clueless. yards. That's what happened on that play. That team, Hoyer, was carrying that team, dude. He had one bad game or something, and they want to the blame Steel. him and act like he's the problem. Well, okay. You got Johnny Football in there. You, can, you, you see now, uh, it ain't quite Hoyer, is it? Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Blacko's pass will go for an incompletion. And partner, we're looking at a quarterback who has been beaten up, but has still found ways to make plays. Well, it's not a perfect game, Jim. It's a game of adversity, and this quarterback has dealt with some tough adversity here today, and he has come through when he is getting hit. And here we have second Trying down. Trying to hold us in this game, man, but our, our offense ain't doing nothing. Wide receivers no are bunched up. Flacco will take it from the gun. Makes the catch, but didn't get the feet down. Incomplete. Well, the quarterback that time tried to squeeze it into tight coverage, but no can do. The coverage is too good, and the football falls incomplete. On the way, third down. Shotgun time here for Joe Flacco. They'll hike it to him out of the shotgun. Complete to Jones. <laughs> and he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring Ooh, us to fourth down. He gave down. it to him. Good job by the defense. Uh, they're well taught, well schooled by the defensive coordinator. They know in situations like this, if it's thrown short of the first down marker, they're good. Finally, offense. Thank you. Finally. Score some damn points. Give us a chance. First down following the long play. Looking to go up top again on first down. Should have had it. Jim, you look at drop passes in the NFL, it's almost always for the same reason. They take their eyes off the football, the receivers, just before it gets there. And when you do that, that little bit of lack of concentration will cause you to drop the pass. The Ravens set the line of scrimmage with their set of receivers in a bunch formation. The Ravens take it from the 23. Flacco to his tight end, Pitta. Not able to get away from Taylor that time. Good job by the play caller that time. Calling for the short pass. Even though it comes up short of the first down, it opens up many things that you can do on third. You can run a reverse, draw plays, screen plays, or if you want, you can still throw it down the field. 
Third down on the way. Joe Flacco will take it right from the center. Looking across the middle, reaches ah. out and grabs it. And he's tackled, ah. but not until he picked up the first down. Keep the momentum on your side. You got a lead here in the second half. Nice play that time. You pick up the first down. Let's see if you can take advantage of it. The Ravens come to the line and they put their receivers in a bunch formation. And the pass goes in. Ooh, took his head off. Malu had that entire area covered. That's what you expect in the NFL nowadays from the players, especially these receivers. They're so aggressive, so athletic. They go all out for every catch. That time he just lets it all go. Not able to make the catch, but I'll give him an A for effort. The Ravens will take the snap from the 35. Complete. What a hit that time. Boy, that was some hit that time that knocked the ball out. Yeah, it was a good hit, but listen, you can tell the receivers expecting that big hit. I don't know why. You're going to get hit no matter what, so you might as well just go ahead and catch the football. Bad job by the receiver that time. Let's see what they do on this third down situation. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. Flacco from the shotgun. And he's thrown to the ground. When you put on third down, you hope to get to the quarterback. Here's why. Because there are less defensive backs back there. The chances of giving up the big play are pretty high. But the rush, they're quick enough. They get there. Offense, finally. False start, and that sets the offense back five yards. Yeah, you, it, listen, false start, and it, it, it can be the littlest thing. A little flinch, and it, it doesn't look false like start. much, but Off everybody offense. in the stadium can see it, and so can the officials. set in the slot for this snap. At it for a moment, but the ball is knocked out incomplete. Smith really hit hard that time, and I know the football hit his hands, but when a defender times it perfectly like that, with that much power and speed going into that receiver, you are going to let that football go. That's human nature. Really good job by the defensive player. Joe Flacco will take it right from the center. They're going to get him here for a sack. You just got to know when your offensive line is overmatched. And when they're overmatched, you got to be simpler, quicker with your passes, and protect the quarterback with more people back there helping him. down after the sack quarters formation here for the defense from the gun Flacco the ball is jarred loose they recover their own fumble Nice job of the offense that time, even though I know, they I'm hoping the, the cowgirls lose enough too. I, I'm gonna have smart to go, enough I'm gonna have to get go ahead and right watch away. that here in a minute. I can't. I knocked that ball loose and it fell right to the. He kicked it in the air. Yeah, me too, man. I hope the cowgirls lose. Oh, good shit. Yeah, did you see him kick that ball? That was kind of funny. This play set up by the long gainer. 
Flacco's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Wants to go deep. Very nearly intercepted. Looking ahead, the Ravens will be on the road in Cleveland next week, while the Steelers will be on the road in Carolina. Second down following that incompletion. Keeps it here. Flacco flings it way down the field. Ike Taylor. Oh, Taylor. my God. He should have had an interception. Just not a good decision by he the should have watched it. I mean, maybe on the he should have had an INT. Look at this. Plays, but he's attacking the strength Ball went of right this in cover his two defense. Don't wow. do that. Throw where they're not. That's deep Ike down the Taylor, middle. Boy. We're going to bring, we bring a heat. Up. We ain't going to sit back. Fuck that. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Throw to the left. Finds Pitta. He's going to be brought down, and that's going to be a three and out for this offense. Ooh, these boys are hitting. Defensive uh, outside linebacker. It's a 3-4 defense, so I'm, I'm playing outside. It's a little easier on this game to play outside than inside. These boys are bringing the heat though on defense now. They are hitting. Quarters formation here for the defense. Wow, looks like the defense encroached. First and five. Oh, what the hell? Flacco able to find Dennis Pitta. That's Did you see my, of only my character? A just the Steeler. Wow, hold on. Let's look at. Oh, they won't let me look Running at it. the football with tremendous heat. My character just got shut down. He just, dude just stalemated me. He just went to his knees. Watch this shit. Watch my dude bitch out right here. He doing the pass rush and... Uh, what the hell was that? Oh, they collided helmets. Okay. Well, he got a concussion or something? Look, I think my dude got a concussion on this. Boom! See, they collided helmets. I was wondering, I was like, why the fuck did he just drop to his knees? Uh, I like how I go down, right? But look at the offensive lineman. He completely off balance and should be falling. And look, look at him slide and recover. <laughs> and then look at me lay here like a little bitch. <laughs> And look at me lay here and shit. Like, I'm hurt, coach. I'm hurt. <laughs> and this is something we have not seen from their rushing attack this season. No, we have not. Listen, we all know to run the football consistently in the NFL, that is something that's very hard to do. But they have been working extremely hard on it, and they've got it going to them. The Ravens take it from the 38. The defense gets a sack. Nice job that time by the defense getting the sacks. The blitz was well timed. When it's well timed, right, the offense doesn't have baby. time to react, and they get Big a good shot. Right here. So they get to the quarterback on that last play. Third down coming up. On this passing down, the defense comes out in the nickel. Blanco standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Oh He's my God! Wide open. Wide open. Wow. And the tackle was made by James Harrison. Wide open over there. <laughs> the Ravens look pretty confident out there on the field, don't they? And they're, they're very calm, and they should be. That first down, they're right in this game. Hey. Down a couple points here in the second that was half. Killer right don't there, look bro. down the field for that big play. We needed Just that keep stop marching. right there. We needed that stop. 
That long gain sets them up here on this play. Time's running out on this one. Midway through the fourth. Troy Good Pumano shit, Troy. Good shit, Troy. No <laughs> return this time, and Roethlisberger will come back out at the 20. Nice. That was an awesome job Good by the shit, defense. Troy. He just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made like, the interception. Give me that. Give me that. And he goes to a knee. Le'Veon. There you go. Run some clock. Run some clock. First down, let's see what they come up with here. First down and 10. And he's taken down. Second down coming up. Time, obviously, a factor the rest of the way. Blackos back in shotgun formation. Down the field. Wow. Wow. ties the game up now on the defensive side you've got to come out there and take advantage of this this feeling you got going now and get the football back for your offense I'm in shock bro I'm just sitting here they always do that they always do some miraculous last down bullshit. That's what crazy. What a beating this has been as he comes to the line hoping to avoid being sacked for a ninth time today as his man the ravens rely on their passing game to lead them and today it has blacko's really been locked in today their passing game has absolutely kept them in this football game that's why they're tied and they gotta and at this point they have to hope the quarterback is going to lead him to victory. The Ravens snap at the 36. He'll be taken down about three yards short of the first. And here as we look at the rushing numbers, there's not much there on the ground, even though this game is tied. Yeah, balance is not the word for this offense today. If you want to run the football, do it maybe in an unconventional way, some draws, some misdirections. That's what they need to do. Offense lines up here. The Ravens snap it at the 36. To the ground. Now makes the move to the right. And Polamalu in on the tackle. The Ravens all for a timeout. They want to talk. Yep, they won the game on the last second. I don't even, I'm not even going to get upset. That's what the computer on here does every fucking week. 